World Theatre Day Message 2024. Art is peace. Every person is unique and yet also like every other person. Our visible external appearance is different from everyone else's. Of course, that is all well and good. But there is also something inside each and every one of us which belongs to that person alone. We might call this their spirit or their soul. Or else we can decide not to label it at all in words. Just leave it alone. Art. Good art manages in its wonderful way to combine the utterly unique with the universal. It lets us understand what is different, what is foreign, you might say, as being universal. By doing so, art breaks through the boundaries between languages, geographical regions, and countries. It brings together not just everyone's individual qualities, but also the individual characteristics of every group of people, for example, of every nation. Art does this, not by leveling differences and making everything the same, but on the contrary, by showing us what is different from us, what is alien or foreign. All good art contains precisely that, something alien, something we cannot completely understand and yet at the same time do understand in a way. It contains a mystery, so to speak, something that fascinates us and thus pushes us beyond our limits and in so doing, creates the transcendence that all art must both contain in itself and lead us to. War is the battle against what lies deep inside all of us, something unique. And it is also a battle against arts, against what lies deep inside all arts. All good arts, deep down, revolves around the same thing, taking the utterly unique the utterly specific and making it universal, uniting the particular with the universal by means of expressing it artistically, not eliminating its specificity, but emphasizing this specificity, letting what is foreign and unfamiliar shine clearly through. War and art are opposites, just as war and peace are opposites. It's as simple as that. Art is peace. peace.